On the one hand, keeping the security scenario and the possibility of a two-front war with China and Pakistan, the government of India has approved 42 squadrons for the Indian Air Force. On the other hand, it has been widely reported that the Indian Air Force is facing a massive shortage of squadrons and is short of at least 11 squadrons as on date. Before we proceed with today's video, we will try and understand what does a squadron mean. A squadron is a military unit which, in the case of a flying squadron, comprises of a fixed number of aircraft, pilots, ground staff and maintenance specialists. A squadron has often been designated a type of aircraft. So, for instance, a MiG-21 squadron will comprise only of MiGs and pilots along with support staff who have been specially trained on that particular platform. Squadrons are not limited to flying units but also includes air defense and engineering units. The Indian Air Force fighter squadrons typically have 18 operationally deployed aircraft with three crafts kept as a reserve. Number one squadron called the Tigers, the oldest squadron of the Indian Air Force operates as a multi-role air superiority and electronic warfare unit. Part of 40 wings of the Indian Air Force under Central Air Command it is based at Maharajpur in Gwalior. Hello and welcome to News Affairs. Before we proceed further, we request our viewers to please subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed. If you find the video informative, please like and share the video. In November 2022, on the sidelines of the Indo-French Joint Exercise Garud 7 in Jodhpur, the Indian Air Force Chief had said that India will need about 5 to 6 squadrons of 4.5 generation fighter aircraft to accomplish the Indian Air Force's immediate commitments. Some progress has been made on the domestic development front, with India recently including its homegrown light combat aircraft Tejas and the recently inducted light combat helicopter Prachand in the Indo-French exercise Darud 7. With most fighter squadrons set to be phased out over the next decade and a half, the Indian Air Force has made it clear that there is no question of reviewing its sanctioned strength of 42 fighter squadrons. However, the gap between the current strength and the target strength is somewhat greater than it appears. This is because despite the Indian Air Force maintaining a fleet strength of 31 squadrons on paper, the number is lower in reality since the availability of some of the fighter types is less than 50% due to serviceability issues and non-availability of spare parts. If India must fight a war with China and Pakistan, then the numerical superiority is not in its favor. Although the man behind the machine is most important, but notwithstanding, India needs to increase its combat aircraft on topmost priority. There are reportedly 20 squadrons with 400 fighter jets in the Pakistan Air Force with prospects of the number going up to 24-25 squadrons with vintage fighters being replaced by J-10C and JF-17 Block 3 which are being inducted. A rapidly rising China's People's Liberation Army Air Force boasts a modern combat aircraft fleet supplemented by capable ground-based air defense systems. China's People's Liberation Army Air Force present inventory comprises approximately 1700 fighters including 150 5th generation J-20s and a 2nd 5th generation fighter FC-31 J-31 due to enter service over the short term. China has also made capital available for further modernization of the Chinese armed forces. According to security experts, the Indian Armed Forces are presently equipped to go to war simultaneously on both fronts at 30 days intense and 60 days normal rates. The Indian Air Force operates an assorted fleet from the MiG-29 Bison fighter to the 4.5 generation French Rafales. Faced with a shortage of 11 squadrons and 200 fighters, the Indian Air Force currently operates 12 Sukhoi Su-30 MKIs, 5 Jaguar, 3 Mirage 2000s, 3 MiG-29, 2 Rafale and 2 LCA squadrons spread all over India. The multi-role fighter aircraft program is India's most ambitious mother of all deals 
intended to reverse the decline in squadron strength. Under the international tender, India plans to acquire 114 multi-role fighters equating to six squadrons and valued at 20 billion US dollars. The Indian Air Force is in the process of firming up MRFA's technical and air staff qualitative requirements after a request for information was sent out to eight contenders, following which a request for proposal is due to be issued soon. The eight contenders of the MRFA program are Rafale from Dassault Aviation France, F-15 Eagle II from America's Boeing Defense, JAS-39 Gripen E from Sweden's Saab, Sukhoi Su-35 from Russia's USE, F-21 from America's Lockheed Martin, Eurofighter Typhoon from European Consortium Eurofighter GmbH, FA-18E Super Hornet from Boeing Defense, and MiG-35 from Russia's USE. As per Air Marshal Anil Chopra, Director General, Center for Air Power Studies, the Indian Air Force could reach 42 squadrons by 2038 only if the nation takes a resolution and all actions go by plan. The end state could be 14 squadrons of the Su-30 MKI, two each of Mirage 2000 and MiG-29, 12 squadrons of LCA variants, two of Rafale, six of the new fighters, and four of advanced medium combat aircraft. This would make it 42 squadrons. In our opinion, with 24,000 medium, small and micro enterprises presently engaged with the defense sector in India, with more than 500 licenses issued to private defense manufacturers and the numbers rapidly increasing, this would result in reducing defense imports from 70% to 40% in the coming years. But only time will tell if these will be sufficient to protect the country from a hostile neighborhood or much more is needed. Do let us know about your views in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video. Jai Hind!